Can I sidebar here for a second? Because this is bugging me for a second. We're going to come right back to this. We're going to pick up right with the Jeff Jarrett phone call. Okay. And we don't talk current stuff, but this isn't about the business or anything. It's about someone who is attached to the business who I feel is I, – I aspire to be better through them every day. Wow. Did you see what John Cena did? My God, what a human being. I love that so, guy. I, I talk to John all the time. I talk to him. We text. And um, I don't bug him, man. He's busy doing movies and things like that. But every once in a while, you know, I'll shoot him a text. How you doing? And, and there's a gentleman that helps him with his stuff. And he tells me this story about this young man uh, who had escaped Ukraine with his mother. But he, uh, a special young man, and he didn't want to leave his home of Ukraine. And his mother told him that we're going to go find John Cena mm. to get him to leave his home. And this young man traveled from Ukraine and, and not knowing where he was going or what he was doing. All he knew is that he was leaving his home. And his hero was John Cena. And so his mother just kept telling him that you're going to, we're going to go find John Cena. Right. And she, somehow they, the story got out and Cena heard it. And John's like, where is he? And found out that he was in the Netherlands, mm. found him. And John had a weekend off. He says, I'm going to go see this young man. Now you would think that's a pretty easy thing to do. Okay. You know, you're John Cena. Uh, I should go grab a plane, but it was the queen's Jubilee. And with the queen's Jubilee, there's a lot of restrictions around things coming into the country, planes and private planes and all this other stuff. And even, you know, just getting there, but John got it done. And John was able to go meet this young man. We, he called us for, uh, merchandise and different things to be able to send to him again, a major, deal to try and get through because packages weren't coming into England or weren't coming into the United Kingdom because of the Queen's Jubilee. Right. But man, and I, I saw this footage and it's just, to me, I think John Cena for the, the people that think that John is a phony and think that John's not this, whatever to me, John Cena is a number one, one of the finest human beings I've ever had the privilege and honor of getting to know, and I just think if you get a chance, check out the footage, man. And it was absolutely tremendous what John did with this young man. Made, you know, made his day, made his life. Um, and John took a, a weekend out of his life to go and, and make someone else's day. And I just thought that was the coolest thing in the world because people will never know the heaven and earth that John moved to actually make this happen. To get just from America to Amsterdam on your weekend off, it, it is a big de doggone deal. And, and, um, especially when you've got a crazy schedule like him, but it was important and he made time for it. And what a story. Thank you. For yeah. Just that. to make this kid's day. And I thought, I thought it was great. And, and it just happened to open up on my page there. So I had to, I had to say it. I had to do it by God. <laughs>